Telescopes observed a huge flash of light 200 million miles from Earth and stated it is the brightest thing they have ever seen. What caused this flash and what is the energy that was observed? Just one minute. We're, we're looking through what he read. Again, Todd, we state that the, the universe is a very large place. Uh, even for us, we, you know, there's a lot that happens from one moment to the next. And uh, we would prefer that in the future, we know what you're talking about here because there's enough information in your mind. But we would prefer in the future that you research something a little better so that we have a, a location from your perspective that we can use to correlate with what's occurring because there are a multitude of things occurring. This is not an unusual event. We know which one you're talking about based upon what we see in your mind. This is not an unusual event. This just happens to be the first one that you've seen from your um, observable uh, perspectives here. Okay, let's go see it. Okay, this is in your book, Todd, and we're going to explain this to you. What you're watching here is you're watching a system consciousness is creating a system of planets. This is the initial compression that is going to create the matter that is going to create the planets within a solar system. And this is the initial compression. Now we've discussed this before. The system consciousness is a toroidal consciousness sphere just like a human with uh, a seat of consciousness and that seat of consciousness is where the energy star is going to reside. And you can look at your planetary system here, there, your solar system, and you can look at your sun. Your sun exists in the seat of consciousness of your system consciousness. So when your planet when your planetary system was created imagine two in etheric hands going down the toroidal center of this system consciousness toroidal sphere towards the seat of consciousness and it's pushing them together as it's pushing them together it's setting the intention for the system it's going to create. This is the matter that I'm going to need. These are the things I'm going to create in this system. This is how I'm going to create this planetary sphere based upon what the galactic consciousness wants in this thing. This is system consciousness is subordinate to the galactic consciousness. The hands come together. The compression reaches critical mass. BAM! There's this huge burst of light that comes out because we are photonic consciousness. So as as we create our systems of matter, there is a, um, uh, an emission of, of light that occurs as these things become material. BAM! This happens. And all of this junk just spews out of the seat of consciousness from the system consciousness. And it's just out there. And this huge light that you saw is this emanation of this creation. Now, uh, there is a period of time for this light to travel to reach your telescopes because of the material that exists here and you're, you're observing things in the material realm so you're not watching consciousness you're watching material byproducts of conscious action so uh, there is a period of time and now all of this junk is out there and it's going to slowly uh, the lenticular disk that's sitting around this seat of consciousness is slowly going to amass into planets and they're going to create the planetary spheres the stuff the byproducts that aren't that aren't needed are going to be moved aside, and the planets where uh, consciousness is going to ascend through are going to be created and placed in their locations. And again, we've just created a new system of consciousness ascension. That's that's is what you observed. Next question.